Brian, one more Call of Duty now, full-blown sci-fi. We're going to space, and this, this is completely new for the series. So how do you approach that? I, I mean, you think you, you had exper past experience with futuristic uh, games, and now we're going to add a new feature to that that is space combat and zero-g combat as well. How do you approach that from the beginning? Well, the team is extremely passionate about wanting to try to push the boundaries. We wanted to provide a classic Call of Duty experience, but right. then, then really try to make sure that we're expressing something brand new and create a grounded, plausible future. Uh, in order to do that, we sort of fused some of the ideas of uh, a classic military aesthetic of Navy with NASA. And then once we have that wrapper, then we want to talk about what are the experiences we want to give the player. Right. And we wanted to take them off the rails. We wanted to give them some player choice. That's, that's one thing that I was going to ask. The rails, the stages set from point A to B. So in space, you can go all around. How does that work? Well, that's a big challenge, right? Because Call of Duty is known for its very controlled pacing. And yeah. we wanted to create these um, amazing cinematic experiences, right. but also let you off the rails. So when you launch, when you go from boots on the ground, you have this really nice scripted experience, and you go into your Jackal, which is your space uh, fighter jet, right. you go directly into space, then you're in open space combat. And then we really wanted you to feel that sense of freedom. So you can pick an enemy, go on a line, chase them around, defeat them, ultimately use that as an opportunity to board one of their large capital ships. Oh, freely. And then, freely. Okay. So, so in, in the capital ship demo that we showed, one of our side missions is choosing to go off into space, attack a capital ship, breach it, and then come back out again with the intel or whatever you're trying to achieve. Okay, so these, cool. these kind of choices that you get to make from your large vessel, which is the, um, the retribution, really puts you in the seat of being a captain and that burden of responsibility and player choice about where you want to go. What, what about the zero-g combat as well? So as you hop off the, the spaceship, you uh, you can do this freely as well on the, on the space uh, phases. Or so in in our in our mode, which is going on these capital ship raids, you're going to be able to express some of this zero g right. combat. Okay. So it's you won't be able to get out of your jackal at any time. But okay. th throughout these missions, that will be an encouraged style of play. So you'll have to go outside of your jackal breach the, the, the hull, and to do so, we wanted to make sure there was a sense of speed so it's not just floating around space. So we've added the grapple hook. We've added new gear items like the seeker grenade. So when you throw a grenade, it doesn't just float in space, it actually seeks out the targets. Yeah, sure. So we wanted to create some technology that was plausible and feasible, but also capitalize on the fact of some of the disadvantages of being in zero G environment. What about mul multiplayer? Are we, uh, can we expect so, uh, the different types of, uh, of levels in uh, in space or boots on the ground or I mean our focus mixed. at our focus at E3 at this point is to really showcase what the S single player campaign okay. is all about. All right. In the future, we will go over how this wrapper sort of influences multiplayer. But right now, our, we really wanted to make sure the players understood that we're trying to reach new kinds of gameplay and express this very cool character-driven story of good versus evil. Cool. What was the best thing, the best new thing that you guys look and say, well, we're proud of that and this was an amazing job? I think we're most proud of the fact that you, when you get onto this large ship, the, the Retribution, that you can go onto the console, you look at the solar system, and you can start making and plotting some of the places you can go in some of these challenge missions. You get into your Jackal and in free flight, you know, have this amazing dogfights in space. Um, and then you then add the next level of, of, of innovation with the zero-g combat, which takes you then to boots in the ground combat inside a vessel. Just that whole loop of yeah. being making the choices, doing these new innovative things and coming back and still feeling like it's a Call of Duty game, yeah. that's the most exciting thing. Cool. Uh, yeah, what about uh, the special ops or zombie mode or anything extra that we uh, could get well, in the game? As you'd expect, we're going to have a, a really great single-player campaign, but we'll also have multiplayer. Ha have to have an amazing multiplayer, and Zombies is coming back. Ah, oh, oh. Zombies in Space! <laughs> now, I'm not saying it's Zombies in Space. Okay. I'm just saying that there is going to be a Zombies mode. Okay. <laughs> you didn't say it. <laughs> Thanks, Finn. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Time.